some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Petra. Buna is a mechanism. It's a method by which the Arab Monetary Fund, which owns the Buna platform, regulates trade within the 20-plus Arab countries. All these currencies are all part of the Buna platform. That is the mechanism that those organizations trade within their countries and outside their countries in the international marketplace, using a very fast method of transferring intercurrency monies. What's important is Iraq joined this platform on January 4th this year. They did not engage, but they did join the platform. Why would Iraq join the Buna platform? First of all, the Buna platform requires the currency to be internationally tradable. Iraq joined them on January 4th, but they don't go live on the platform until Wednesday the 10th, which means they have to have an internationally tradable currency on Wednesday if they transact. That's a big if. If they transact, then something has changed. We would all love for this to happen. Is it going to happen? I don't know. If they do, we'll all will know about it because they'll have to change the rate. That's why Buma platform is so important. All right, Frank 26. This AMF's Buna is solid evidence that they're coming out to the international world. It's solid evidence that they are Article 8. This has nothing to do with the program rate. This is a flow. This is a movement. This is a step-by-step -step progression. There is no date. There is no rate. The rate is well calculated. That's why we have the budget. Be very aware of this tool. It's for international status. All right. Uh, Mark Z via PDK says, I'm hearing nothing from the banking centers right now. They're quiet, but being asked to stay in place. I talked to a banker in Asia. They're all being asked to stay in place because things are imminent. I take this as a very good sign. I don't want to get... Um, too excited, but well, the chatter out of Iraq is sure pointing towards the 10th being a big day. They're looking for a budget tomorrow. We will closely be watching over there in the sandbox overnight and tomorrow. We should manage our expectations, but the chatter and news out of Iraq says they are expecting a new value tomorrow. All right, Mountain Goat says the news is all very good today. And in fact, it is just what we want to hear as we have not heard news this great from the Finance Committee in a very long time. Now we are hearing it. We should have heard this in December, but everything was delayed due to COVID and the drop in oil prices. But now oil is close to $60 a barrel and is expected to rise. So in today's news, it's all about the will to ending the currency auctions, reducing the deficit to record lows, and not touching the CBI reserves to pay for the deficit in the new 21-22 two-year budget. Does this all add up to something? Think about it. Put two and two together. All right, Petra, uh, question. Guess who signed on to the Buna platform to take care of all of the U.S. dollar denominated rate uh, trades? J.P. Morgan Chase, one of the biggest tier one banks in our country. That tells you now that J.P. Morgan Chase is involved. They are not doing it for a currency that can't be transferable, i.e. the Iraqi dinar. Buna is the mechanism by which they will be able to transact on the international market. This Wednesday the 10th, we wait to see if they actually transact because they'll need to be internationally positioned with their currency in order to do so. Uh, lastly, an update from Mark Z via PDK. I have seen the redemption centers. I know people that work there. I know they exist.